Nude is a song by Radiohead that was released in 2007 with In Rainbows, their seventh album. But did you know that the song was intended to be released with their third album, OK Computer, a decade earlier? The band knew it was a great song, and because of that, they only wanted to put out the best possible version on a record. They attempted to record and release it with Kid A and Hail to the Thief, but it wasn't until the In Rainbow sessions that they were able to create what they were looking for. When comparing the early and latest version of the song, it's clear that it went through an evolution. Their instrumental lineup, playing style, lyrics, and a myriad of other details were changed. It makes for a rare glimpse into the creative decisions that they made. So let's talk about the evolution of Nude. The 96 version wasn't released until June of 2017. It came with Radiohead's OK Not OK 1997 2017 album. It was a special edition reissue of OK Computer featuring a myriad of alternative versions of songs and unreleased material. In the special edition, there was also a white cassette containing even more unreleased songs. The 96 version of Nude being one of them. We notice a big difference right from the beginning. This early version has a faster tempo. It's very clear to hear what is going on in the soundscape. There's drums, keys, bass, guitars, no surprises. Now in the latest version, things are a lot different. The structure of the intro is more detailed. There's this instrumental part in the beginning that's kind of mesmerizing that only lasts for a few seconds. And then we're thrown into this loud, immersive and detailed part. We hear violins, normal drum tracks on top of reversed drum tracks, multiple vocal tracks and more. There's a creative energy that you get with the latest version of Nude that you don't get with the early version. To make things clear, I'd love to focus on the changes in the bass, the guitars, and their musical influences in this video. A question that came to mind when I listened to the first verse was, how can they make something so simple without making the song sound boring? We only hear bass and drums. It's sparse, but it works. There are two things that stand out to me that might answer this question. First, there's the band's dedication to creating a dynamic sound. And secondly, there's Colin Greenwood's bass line. First, dynamics. The band chooses to go from this rich soundscape in the intro to a sparse one during the verse. And that change makes the listening experience exciting. It's unexpected. Then there's the bass. When we transition from the intro to the verse, the melody, the very complicated version of the melody that we heard during the intro is played in the most simplistic way by Colin Greenwood. If I replicate it on the guitar, it sounds like this. It's minimalistic in the purest sense. He only plays two notes. There's G sharp, A flat, and he plays with the octave of that note as well. So it's the same note, G sharp, A flat. And then he introduces an E for a very brief second. Remember when I asked how can they make something so simple without making the song boring? So here's the trick. Colin could have made a bass riff that sounded more long-winded, notes that were ringing like this. And this is what he did on the earliest version of the song. This approach would have made the song too boring in my opinion, because it just leaves in too much space. It's very predictable. A lot of bassists have used long-winded, more supportive bass approaches in the past. So what Colin does instead is he adds this very cool, more complicated picking pattern and kind of links up to the drums. <laughs> Thank you.
So he's using the bass both as a means of strengthening the rhythm and the melody. And in my belief, this is one of the reasons why they didn't release the song before. Nigel Godrich, their producer, mentioned in an interview that this was one of the parts they came up with that elevated the song to a new level. Another thing that's great about the latest version of Nude is that the band, they don't leave the listener hanging. There's always new instruments being introduced. The guitar, for example, it comes in at one minute and 15 seconds into the song. Now, the chord progression here is the exact same that he alludes to in the early version, but he has a much more refined picking pattern, much like Colin, and it just sounds more interesting and fleshed out. A very interesting thing about the, the comping pattern or the, the picking pattern here, very often you'll find that two notes are strummed at the same time. So it's very much a finger style riff where you have to use quite a bit of finger coordination if you're not used to playing finger style. The next riff is also super interesting. He's uh, basically using his index finger as a rake, strumming these dead notes and creating this percussive sound that again, it just adds to that rhythm in the song. very addictive to, to practice this because it's not something you see people typically do. Now when it comes to Radiohead's influences for the song, their producer Nigel Godrich said in an interview that the song How Can You Mend a Broken Heart by Al Green was one of them. The song was originally made by the Bee Gees in 1971 and was then covered by Al Green on his fourth album Let's Stay Together the next year. It's clear that they borrowed heavily from Al Green's cover, but they borrowed in different ways depending on which version of Nude you listen to. The idea of using an organ, for example, clearly came from Al Green's song when you listen to the early version. Greenwood's guitar parts in the early version doesn't really sound fleshed out, it's kind of rough. In the latest version, however, he borrows from Al Green's guitarist in the best possible way. He could have done something more similar to what they're doing in the Al Green song, like playing the arpeggio and then added just one or two notes to add a bit of melody. But what Greenwood does is he takes that arpeggio, he adds some embellishments, but then he will also vary the melody by breaking up the arpeggio like so. And obviously the chords are not the same, they're using a different chord progression and that makes the song a little bit more unique as well. There are other ways that the latest version takes inspiration from the song, like Tom York's vocal line, for example. If you listen to the soulful and breathy nature of York's singing alongside Green's performance, this becomes very clear. The evolution of Nude from the OK Computer recording to the In Rainbows one is like night and day to me. One sounds unfinished and raw, but it still has that emotional quality that we often find in the greatest Radiohead songs. I think they made a good decision when they decided to spend some extra time, that being 10 years, to get this song as good as possible. Over the course of that time, they came up with playing styles that were more interesting, they found clever ways to borrow from their influences, and overall, they created a song that feels timeless. Hey, it's Christian Lee here. Besides running this channel, I'm also a guitar teacher, and I usually work with guitarists who have a problem with playing songs from start to finish. Some also have a hard time keeping a steady rhythm. If you have any of these problems, I suggest you sign up for a free call with me by clicking the link in the description. Fill out the form, and we'll see if you're a good fit for my tutoring program. I'd love to see you there. Cheers.